Dance Jam Productions. See, you gotta always, yeah, just never, never block my life. I never block my life. This is my son Ryan, Ryan Boz. I'm Debbie Ramsey Boz, and we also taught a surviving social dancing workshop, but really what I talked about was being connected. So we understanding that everybody teaches West Coast Swing differently and that it's based on if there's no bloodshed or pain and it worked, it's correct. Okay, so for us as followers, we talked about uh, leveraging away using the part that's furthest away from your partner for the leaders, the same thing. And basically we just started with doing a walking base, I mean a non-walking basic, which was just keeping it in place. Ryan's leading on following, three and four, five and six. He does do that again. What we talked about was if the follower moves, well, you can stay in place. If the follower moves in and doesn't feel the, um, the lead didn't ask them to come in, so you're gonna, we're just going to do one in place again. If she does this, she can then recover three and four, five and six. So followers are always thinking, ooh, i got to stay back. Then we did a walking basic, and basically what happens here is the followers are, are, are learning to adjust to what the leader's asking them to do as far as how far they come in. Then three and four, so that looks again like this. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. So we're maintaining the same distance. And then we had the leaders practice doing that with music and either doing a non-walking basic or a walking basic. The leaders had choices to take one step and then stepping uh, together or one step or two passing steps. So if we did three or four in a row, I'm gonna let Ryan lead it so you have one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and one, two. So that time we did two passing, five, and six, and one, two, three, and four. So the followers basically are, are learning to adapt to what the leader is asking them to do. And I'm going to lead for a second. What we're looking for the leaders to do is to maintain the same connection that they're not drifting this hand in as you lead the follower. We want her to maintain uh, leverage away, then you have to maintain leverage away when you move your body so that they know how far to go. Then we talked about um, whether or not the dance floor, if, if uh, Ryan came up in, to dance with me and, he, and kept his arm short, he, chances are he's telling me or he sends me out to this distance that he wants me to stay close because the floor's crowded. So stay that. If, if the leader's there and the follower's here, we're imbalanced anyway, but I'm also not listening to what the lead's asking me to do. Plus, he could take from a teacher who tells them that's correct. So they, everybody has their own way of doing this. I, as a follower, I'm trying to match the lead and maintain the same connection. So if we did that same exercise we just did in, in a shorter position, it doesn't matter. My distance is still the same. He is not getting closer, I'm not, so we're maintaining that same connection. And for those of you who are struggling to work on, you know, the fact that when you go dancing socially, everything's different, this is a great um, drill to practice. So what I say, articulate, is look where he is, try to match that distance as a follow, and also try to stay behind your hand. So don't move faster than your hand, don't move slower than your hand, but move with your hand. So then we did a little exercise of connection, which the followers stood still, the leaders are thinking, okay, so the connection is in my back, and then they scoochied forward just a little bit, and now the connection is now in his back and his elbow, and then if he came a little closer, so now it's back in his elbow, because that's the point that's furthest away from me. So he's never pulling back with his hand, and then as he moves back, it's elbow and back, and then all the way out becomes his back again. And basically, what happens is, I don't teach a push break where the leader's hands go back, and, and part of that is because on, and I'm leading again, on one, two, as a leader, I'm not drawing in, so therefore then I have choices of how far in my arms will go. But if I draw in, then I end up, you know, with my elbows behind me, because I have nowhere to go. Last part of this, we did the left side pass, and that's basically where the leader is picking up whatever slack, and we told the followers they're going forward, the leader's gonna pick up slack and keep his body rotating with his hand. And as a follower, of course, I'm, I'm spotting on them. So the last thing for the leads, again, is they're picking up the slack as they go through, okay? And then we came forward, and then we took a big bow, and everybody threw money. It was so wonderful, I wish you could have been there. Did you get any of the money? 
No. Oh. Okay, they didn't throw money. <laughs> we hope you had a great time. We have had so much fun. And come back next year again if you'd like more information. We're in Raleigh, North Carolina. We do uh, private intensives that are the same price as regular private packages. Come see me. Call me. Go to www.musicanddance.com. Look for Ryan Boz on the internet. Thank you. <laughs>